solve the following quadratic equations. Round your answers to three decimal places. All right, we're given 4x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. So we're going to learn how to use a new tool to solve quadratic equations, and that is the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula basically says if ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So we have to, to use this equation, to use the formula, the quadratic formula, we have to have a quadratic equation in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we have to memorize this formula. So part a, I have a equals 4, b equals 3, and c equals negative 10. So applying the quadratic formula, I would have x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now we have to simplify. I'd have negative 3 plus or minus the square root. 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 4 times 10. I'm sorry, 4 times 4 is 16 times negative 10 is negative 160. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 169 over 8. The square root of 169 is 13, so I have negative 3 plus or minus 13 over 8. All right, so this was nice. We have the square root of 169 is exactly 13, but now there are two values here. So what I'm going to do is split it up into two values. x is equal to negative 3 minus 13 over negative 8. I'm sorry, positive 8. And x is equal to negative 3 plus 13 over 8. All right, negative 3 minus 13 is negative 16. Negative 16 over 8 is negative 2. Negative 3 plus 13 is 10. And 10 over 8 is 5 over 4. So we have negative 2 and 5 fourths. Now exercise B. We have uh, negative 2h squared minus 7h is equal to negative 9. This is quadratic, but it's not in that standard form. So what we'll do first is we'll add 9 to both sides. Negative 2h squared minus 7h is equal, I'm sorry, plus 9 is equal to 0. Now we will apply the quadratic formula. h is equal to opposite of negative 7 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared minus 4 by negative 2 by 9 over 2 by negative 2. So h would equal 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 8 times 9, negative 8 times 9, negative 72. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So I'd have 7 plus or minus the square root of 121 over negative 4. And the square root of 121 is exactly 11. So I have 7 plus or minus 11 over negative 4. Now again, let's break it up into two values. h is equal to 7 minus 11 over negative 4. h is equal to 7 plus 11 over negative 4. Now 7 minus 11 is negative 4, so negative 4 over negative 4, h is 1. 7 plus 11 is 18, 18 over negative 4 is negative 9 halves. So 1 and 9, negative 9 halves are solutions. Now in these two examples, when we found that square root, it was the square root of a perfect square, and so it came out to rational numbers. 
2.6x squared minus 3.8x minus 4.2 is equal to 0. Alright, so again, let's apply the quadratic formula. So x would equal negative, negative 3.8, plus or minus, square root, negative 3.8 squared, minus 4 by 2.6 by negative 4.2. That's all divided by 2 times 2.6. So then x would equal 3.8 plus or minus the square root of 3.8 squared, or negative 3.8 squared, it's the same number, 14.44 minus, let's see, I know it would be a negative here, 4 times 2.6 times 4.2 is 43.68 and 2 times 2.6 and the denominator is 5.2 simplifying under the radical I would have 3.8 plus or minus square root 14.44 plus 43.68 58.12 over 5.2. Now 58.12, the square root of that is not as pretty. So from here on out, what I'll say is now it's approximately equal to 3.8, and I'm going to take that out to, so as to round any to three decimal places. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to leave it out a little further. Uh, if we're going to round to three decimal places, I'm going to take, I'm going to, I'm going to approximate that square root to five places for now. So you don't want to approximate to three yet. 7.62365 over 5.2. Now actually, this is pretty easy on the on our graphing calculator, so I'm going to actually now use the calculator to show you what you would want to do with this. So instead of this, instead of going in this direction with it, what I want to do now is, well, let's think of this as the two separate numbers. We'd have 3.8 minus the square root of 58.12 over 5.2, and we would have 3.8 3.8 plus the square root of 58.12 over 52. Now we're going to use the calculator, but we have to be careful when we use the calculator. So I'm going to type in the numerator, the 3.8 minus the square root of 58.12, but I've got, to account, I've got to do that subtraction before the division by 5.2. So here's what I would have to type in open quantity 3.8 minus the square root oops wrong button sorry about that minus the square root of 58.12 now notice when I brought up the square root it brought it opened a parenthesis for me so I'm going to close the square root but now I also have to close the numerator that I opened before the 3.8 and now I'm going to divide that by 5.2. So the one solution is about negative 0.375. Now here's the nice thing. If you've done all this, all I need to do is change that minus in the numerator to a plus. So on our calculator, hit second and the enter button, and it brings up the last line you typed in, and now just move to that subtraction and overwrite it with an addition and hit enter and we get the other solution all right let me drag that over onto our screen here enlarge it a little bit so we can read it okay so there's our two solutions and now we approximate them appropriately so x is approximately negative 0.735 x is approximately 2.197